CBC News has learned that the controversial leader of a nationalist militia has been charged with making death threats against an Anglo rights activist. Major Serge Bravo uh, of the Quebec militia decided to come in and, and say, okay, I, with all my respect, uh, you can do what you want, but you're not going home alive and kiss your daughter you know for the last time on Sunday you might not you might not go home alive is what he had said exactly that was Hugo Chevier who is lobbying against bill 101 it takes an ignorant person to refer to English as a foreign language in Quebec You've been brainwashed. I'm sorry. Too bad for you. But it's, that's the way it is. We are not a threat, but we're treated as a threat. Legislation, bill after bill after bill. We don't have liberty of expression here. We cannot put our signs up in English. That's only if you're an international copyrighted uh, trademark company, can you? But even the OQLF was harassing trademarks. I've had death threats. I've had the caisse de depots audit failure on my back, pushed as if it was not something that happened when we lost 26% of our retirement monies. It's systematic, institutionalized discrimination. They have English signs. They're not, their language isn't threatened. 400 years here, French is not threatened. I'm a volunteer uh, spokesperson for the non-profit organization, the Quebec Office of the English Language, Office Québécois de la langue anglaise. And Bill 14 will continue to make us feel as foreigners in our own province. Bill 14 wishes to legislate identity, yet another unwanted clause that would hang over our community and further reason to legitimize discrimination based on language. They break every law that they want. And you're saying it's isolated incidents. Un ami Bertrand, en face de moi, puis mes, mes autres amis francophones, we don't need a, log, a logistic division anymore. It was René Levesque who said to us, he's standing out there, his statue, and he said to us, that if you pay taxes, you're a Quebecer. Well, we certainly do not feel that way. When I went and I reported the death threats to the Procureur Montréal, what do you think they did? The Ministre Patriotique Québécoise. What, what is that organization? Why did it exist? Why are criminal code, why is the criminal code thrown out the window here? It is par for the course with ethno-nationalists here in Quebec who think they have replaced the First Nations, who primarily, primarily use English, Mohawks, Crees, Hurons, who speak amongst each other, who live double discrimination. Legislating Quebec identity as French only, overriding the true history of Quebec and Canada, would be a violation of the Human Rights Charter in itself. But I take all the complaints. I get them all the time. And you guys ignore them. The Commission des droits de la personne, protect, perhaps your friends there, I've seen you in photos with them, Madame la Ministre. These guys did nothing. They didn't even walk one block away to investigate the caisse. The majority of Quebecers want to move on from the separatist agenda and reinforce their ties with the rest of Canada. 
A good start would be embracing the English language. Quebec is not a country. So if you try and pass this Bill 14, you're asking for war. It's ridiculous. I'll tell you. It's our community that keeps taking the shots. That's, we've had enough. We need oxygen. We're all Canadians here. Let's stop playing and kowtowing to nationalists who are trying to ruin the country with their failed laws and their failed referendums. And let's build the province together with equality and respect for liberty of expression, because it is not expressed here. It is not allowed here.